it might be time for us all to change up our foundation for the summertime. Why don't we get into my top 10 picks for the best foundations for mature skin right now. Hi my friends, thank you so much for stopping by and spending a bit of your time with me today. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you do decide to subscribe because I'm trying really hard to get to 100,000 at this point. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while because as the summer months come on, I always have to change my foundation. In the winter time, I have very dry, mature skin. However, in the summertime, it almost goes to normal or it goes to combo. So I'll have dry patches, but I'll have breakthrough on these areas or I'll have sweat underneath my eyes, something to where I have to be more cognizant of the kind of foundation I'm wearing because the very dewy foundations that I was wearing just won't work this time of year. So we're gonna talk about all those right now, but before we do, I do have a numbering system. I will put a number right here that will correspond to the foundation that I am holding up. You don't have to worry about remembering the name of the foundation. Just remember that number or jot that number down, go down into the description box, open that up, and I'll have those foundations numbered. And next to them will be the foundation and the link, and you can shop that way if you'd like to. I always love to share with you my top as well. This has been such a fun top. It's a black top with the shoulder detail or the cold shoulder detail with a bell sleeve and I can put up a little picture of myself right here. Really lightweight fabric and I love it. Also, I wear a large and it's very true to size. I get asked that very often and I can also link my jewelry. I'm in love with these earrings. They have a front uh, little circle and the paperclip look and then on the back it is the fastener has its own little detailing with a chain and a circle and then of of course my necklaces I can link for you as well. Nail polish and any other makeup that I'm wearing will be listed below too. Now as we go into the foundations I'm not going to be doing this in order of what I like the best or anything because I would have such a hard time choosing these foundations. I love them all and different times I grab for different things. So let's just start. We'll go one high end and then we'll go one drugstore because I have uh, five of each. So let's start out with one high end that I found this year that I really, really like. And it is from LYS and it is the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This is such a good foundation for not too big of a price tag. I did feel like this was kind of okay on the scale of how expensive foundations can be. This does have a pump. It is in a glass bottle. I love the geometric design. I think that is great on it. But what's inside is wonderful. This foundation I have heard so many people talk about, whether they are oily or dry or combo. This is a foundation that holds up very well, but it feels very skin-like on your skin. It is kind of a medium consistency formula so it's not a super lightweight formula but it covers like a dream this i can get at least medium coverage out of it if not full coverage depending on the day and how my skin is acting but i very rarely have to put two coats of this usually one coat makes me feel like i'm quite finished and everything looks evened out i never notice any texture with this and i never notice it settling around my nose or my chin i always do put a little powder around there as i'm using any foundation. Also, my preferred way to put on foundation is with a beauty sponge, especially in the summertime. I don't know. I feel like that gives you less foundation on your face and you're less likely to get cakey with it. But this is a gorgeous foundation that lasts a long, long time. I mean, I can have this foundation on for 12 hours and not even, it won't even skip a beat. So this is beautiful. Next is one that I think that we all have to agree is a great foundation and looks like a high-end foundation. And that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. The matte version is the best version for the summertime because it's not going to look dewy or anything like that. But for me, it doesn't look super matte either because if I get anything that's super matte, my forehead's gonna feel super dry during the day. And I don't feel like this foundation does that even though it's called matte. And I know that a lot of people have a hard time with the fragrance of this or the scent of it. They say it smells like paint. I don't have that problem. Plus, even if I do smell something, 
a little bit different. I feel like it dissipates very quickly. But for $6, I think that they did raise their price to $6 now. But for $6 and this looking like a high-end foundation, the way that it covers, this is a full coverage foundation. By the way, most of these you are going to see from me will be medium or full coverage because I don't do well with skin tints because I do have the extreme dark spots and the texture and different things like that. So I like a little bit more coverage. But the if you want to try these and they're ones that you that sound really good to you, just go ahead and put a little bit of your primer in there or a little bit of moisturizer in there. You can even put a drop of oil in there to thin it out. However, when we're talking about longevity, oil isn't the greatest thing to put into foundation. But this one definitely has the longevity attached to it. And I I never see again any texture or any pores and this one I feel like is a little bit more lightweight than a lot of them that I'm talking about today but it's a great foundation been out for years and it is a fan favorite of so many people now I want to talk to you about one that I found that I absolutely went gaga over this I got during the Sephora sale and it is one of the most special foundations I knew the minute that I put this on and the first day that I wore it that it was going to be a favorite of mine for a long time to come. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing uh, foundation. And also, by the way, I will have all of my shades that will be listed down below. Now, please keep in mind that I am self tanning right now. So I do mix in sometimes some darker foundation from some other things, but mostly these will be my colors that are in the wintertime. So this foundation itself went on like butter. I mean, I could not believe how gorgeous it just perfected my canvas. It was amazing to me how beautiful this went on with one coat and i didn't need another coat and it was just it blew me out of the water it it just looked like skin it just looked so beautiful and when it says it has that self ref self refreshing in it i felt like i didn't get dry anywhere and that was winter time and so as I'm getting, as we're getting into summer, I wanted to test it again. Sure enough, it doesn't feel dewy or anything like that. It's just a beautiful balanced foundation that never shows up any texture, never oxidizes or changes colors on me. And at the end of the day, it still looks as beautiful as when I put it on. So that one is an A++ in my book. Now this one is from Believe Beauty. And I put this one in here because I feel like this is one of the most phenomenal foundations for five dollars and what they give you inside of here i i just get blown away when i think about this foundation because like i said it's five dollars it is in a glass bottle with a pump you get a, um, the gold accent on it it's got a geometric design on the cap and it's got this raised embossed gold lettering on it and when I looked at it, I'm like, this should be at a Nordstrom counter where you go in and you buy the super high end foundations. It truly is that kind of a foundation inside as well. This is a full coverage, completely full coverage foundation, but it never looks like makeup. It just looks beautiful, like beautiful skin. And that's what I love about it. And I have heard, again, YouTubers that were super oily talk about this. I've heard YouTubers that are super dry talk about it. And it just works for everybody. And I am shocked, absolutely shocked that they have not brought this into stores or started selling it somewhere where you can buy it in mass because you can only buy this at a Dollar General if you have a Dollar General around you. And where I've lived until right up until lately, there was no Dollar Generals. So I think that this personally, somebody should grab onto this and market it because it is a fantastic foundation and it would sell oodles if everybody around the globe could buy this. This is amazing and it is super long wearing. I love it. For another high one, I chose this one from MAC, and this is the Studio Fix Foundation, and Lisa J turned me onto this, and I am here to tell you this is a gorgeous foundation. I could not believe that this has been on the market for such a long time, and I had never tried it until she did a video all about it, and then when I tried it, I was like, wow, this is incredible. It's quite a bit thinner consistency than most of the foundations that I'm talking about here. And it just spreads across your skin in such a thin layer that you don't need much and it really covers well. I will say, take a back, 
take back a few points for there not being a pump in here. I don't understand these high-end companies that don't have pumps. It does have a glass bottle, which is nice, but I really wish that they would get on board with just, you know, I'm sure it would only cost them a few more pennies to put a pump on these kinds of things. But this is beautiful, never ever any oxidation. It looks like skin. It is just an incredible foundation that I think any woman can wear. I don't care if you're oily or if you're very dry or if you're combo, this is gonna wear really, really well. It's a beautiful foundation. Now, the next one I also feel like is so much like this one from MAC. And actually, I feel like this one from Revlon, the color stay, and I have mine in the dry um, normal or normal to dry formula. I feel like this 24 hour foundation can be worn by everybody because they also have the oily combo formula to this one as well. This is also one of the most pretty foundations and I cannot believe that this isn't sold at a, a high-end counter like Nordstrom, Macy's, somewhere like that. It is so perfecting. Now this one is a little bit thicker, um, so if you don't like thick foundations, you might not like this one as well, but it does wear for 24 hours. Whether you get the oily one or whether you get the dry formula, it wears like a dream. It's one of those foundations that it's been around for years and it's time tested because every single woman that gets these, this foundation realizes that she doesn't necessarily have to buy a high-end foundation because here it is in the bottle. Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is your dead-on dupe as far as I'm concerned. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. So again, it's a little bit thicker if you don't like Estee Lauder and you might wanna you know, thin it out with something, but for the price, I don't see how anybody could not give it a try because it is just so pretty. The other thing about it is that it never shows up any of my texture and it just perfects in one coat. So again, beautiful foundation. The next one is one that kind of surprised me. Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Foundations. This is also called a tint, I believe it is. But I kind of resisted trying this one because when it talks about tint, again, I just told you that I'm not somebody that really enjoys having a very light coverage. This is not light coverage. I would say that this is a medium coverage, but the consistency of it is super thin. So that's where they get just the tint part into it. But this covers, oh my goodness, if you want full coverage, all you have to do is put one extra coat on of it and you have completely full beautiful coverage that looks just like your skin this is a phenomenal foundation for anybody that struggles with foundation because of its consistency and how thin it is and it is very long wearing and the gal that i heard about it from said she had very oily skin and it worked for her and that made me a little bit you know concerned because of my dry skin but it works fantastic with dry skin too so I tried really hard to pick foundations that would go either way here. Not necessarily that I did, but we tried really hard. The next one is one that I feel like I really don't need to talk a whole lot about because it's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Again, this is the, oh, Fit Me. Excuse me, it's on the other side, so my bottle didn't want to turn around all the way. So Fit Me and then the labeling's over here. I feel like this foundation is one of those ones that anybody that's ever tried it, again, this should be at a high-end counter. All of these foundations that I'm showing you, I would not be showing you unless they were tested time time true tested on my skin. And keep in mind what I said about my skin being dry and then getting a little bit normal combo in the summer. It doesn't matter when I put this on, this foundation looks beautiful on my mature skin. It never settles into fine lines and wrinkles. And I always feel like I get beautiful coverage out of it. I don't feel like this is too heavy a coverage. Although again, if you're somebody that doesn't like heavy coverage, you might wanna skip this one. I know a lot of people are leaning towards the tints and the BB creams. Personally, I don't go that way just because my skin is, you know, what it is. So I really love this one. I've loved it for years. This doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I think I said that already or texture pores at all. I really love that you can get a full coverage out of it without it feeling heavy like makeup. And yeah, that's one that I have loved for a long time. Now, the next one I am actually wearing today and it is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. And you can see that this foundation has completely perfected everything. 
And when they said best skin ever, I do feel like they named it really well. Again, this is a medium consistency. I have two because I have my summer color or my winter color and my summer color, and they both work so good. They have a ton of colors in this, which is one reason that I absolutely love this because, you know, sometimes you can't find that true cool color. Also, again, they did a great job with the bottle and the pump. I, yeah, so this is around $20. I think it is $20. And some of my foundations that I've shown you from the drugstore are almost that price tag. So even though this is high-end from sephora i feel like this is one of the most beautiful foundation and i feel like it's very affordable again no oxidizing it looks beautiful with the first coat so you don't have to cake up your makeup or anything like that and you do look like you just have beautiful skin it doesn't look like you have a bunch of makeup on now i saved my very favorite one for last and i also want to say that the number seven lift and luminate even though it is my very favorite this is a serum foundation so this has like medium coverage to begin with almost medium light coverage and then it will build and it builds beautifully to full coverage if you want it to it does has have an spf in it but make sure you wear your sun extra sunscreen no matter what you're doing my dry skin Skin loves this foundation and even in the summertime i never see any break apart from it i mix this foundation with a lot of other foundations to not only get the right consistency but also to get just a little bit of luminosity without any glow so this isn't a dewy foundation by any means but it does have a little bit more of that serum in it which is the hyaluronic acid which gives you a little bit more hydration so if you are oily this might not be for you although i've had oily gals tell me that they loved it as well so this is my number one foundation i put this as my number one foundation across the board so many times and you guys i know you're tired of hearing about it but this perfects your skin like nothing i've ever seen and this foundation will last all day and it will be on there no matter what whether it's hot outside or not now that's the roundup of the 10 but i also want to just talk really briefly about wayne goss's new cream foundation this foundation is phenomenal and i cannot believe how beautiful this foundation is for being a cream foundation i have two colors i have a deeper one that i wear when i'm kind of self tanning and then my lighter one this is so pretty you just take a makeup sponge and you just dip it in there i that's what i do and then it will like you know that little dip that you put in there it's gonna like cover like this whole entire area and then you can one more dip and your whole entire forehead's done with your nose and one more dip and this side with your chin you need such a very tiny amount of this that i am blown away and the texture is uber creamy i mean for a mature woman this is a dream and then you put it on and the coverage is there and the perfecting properties are there but it's like where did it go it's it's just it's so different and i am kudos wayne if you're i mean not he's never going to listen to this obviously but my goodness this is beyond the most beautiful foundation i've ever seen as far as something that mature women across the board can wear and i'm telling you this is it's special it's really really special and it just hides everything you look like you just have the most airbrushed look on your face. And the reason that I didn't put it as one of the picks in here is because it's out of stock right now. But I know that some of the deeper colors are in, but the lighter colors are not right now. And I wanted to mention it, put it, you know, jot yourself a little note down to try it if you get a chance to. It is incredible. It's just one of the most beautiful foundations I think have, has ever been created. And I try a lot of foundations and yeah, this for the money. And that's the other thing. You will not use hardly any product. This pan is gonna last you forever. So if you feel like the cost is way too far up there for you to be able to afford, keep that in mind because you're not gonna need very much of this to completely perfect your skin. And it's on there at the end of the day. It's just, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. Normally I, you know, I find my words pretty easy and I can talk till I'm blue in the face, but I'm kind of at a loss at how beautiful this foundation is. So if you've had the chance to try Wayne's formula, it's 
phenomenal. All right, that is it. Do you guys have any foundations that you want to tell us about? I would love to hear about that from you in the comment section. What is your ride or die summer foundation? What do you wear that goes on, stays on all day and all those good things that we talked about? All the boxes need to be checked, right? So what do you wear that you love so much? I would love to hear that from you. I know that every one of you spend time going through those comments because I read them all and I find so many good suggestions in there. So if you're not doing that already, you really need to go down there and look at the comment section because man we have some women that know their stuff and they give me the best recommendations they're so good so right now i'm going to put up a video right here and it will probably be on how to perfect your canvas um, i love this video because it's one where i felt like i finally knew how to do my foundation after all these years i can get the best canvas ever so that's the video i'm going to put up for you to watch next please go over and take a look at it give this one a thumbs up if you would on your way out of here please take care of yourselves and i'll see you in my very next video goodbye my friends love you